this is Heidi. We're down here in Mormon Hollow at Fontenelle Forest and we're um, bombarded with butterflies and moths. So I thought this would be the day to talk about moths and butterflies. Um, a couple cool facts about them that you might not know. Their wings are actually transparent. Um, so the wing structure is made out of a protein similar to an exoskeleton on an insect. And the tops of the wings are covered in scales. And the scales reflect the light, and that's how we see the pattern and the colors. Um, so the reason they have these on uh, the, I feel like they're landing on my hat. They probably are. <laughs> the reason that they have these different patterns and colors is for uh, self-defense, really. Um, they're very low on the um, food chain. Lots of things eat them. So they have either a camouflage that helps them blend in sometimes, or they have bright colors because a lot of predators see bright colors and they think they're toxic. Um, so butterflies are pollinators and they like, they like to eat nectar. And I'm looking around because there are strawberries, they're wild, all over the ground here and these little pink flowers. And you know, they're looking for food because they don't live for very long, maybe up to four weeks. So while they're here, they need to, they need to eat and then they need to procreate. So the way they find their food is, well, first of all, they can see color, but also they land on plants and they can taste things with their feet because they have receptors in their feet. So they're looking for those sugars or they're looking for fermented fruit. Um, the female butterflies will land on plants and they use their feet to find the right chemical compound on a plant to lay their eggs on. Um, another thing we're seeing out here today for sure is all this puddling. It's called puddling. So uh, butterflies will land in the mud and they're trying to absorb the minerals out of the soil. Um, it's not always male butterflies, but a lot of times it is. And the males do that so that they can um, use that in their sperm. It goes, it goes to procreation. It makes it healthier. Um, another cool fact about them is when they're born and after they come out of the chrysalis, their mouth is in two parts. They actually have to put their own mouth together. <laughs> it's basically a tube that uncurls and they use that to feed on, on nectar because they only eat a liquid diet. They can't chew. So if you have any more questions or thoughts about butterflies, there are amazing links all over the internet, but I'm gonna include a few at the bottom. Thanks for hiking with me.